So today's video is such an exciting video. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I'm gonna be talking about my eyeshadow palette in collaboration with Morphe. If you guys are shocked right now, like if this is the first time I'm hearing about this, you guys don't follow me on social media. I already spoke about it on Snapchat, Twitter, and on Instagram. So Morphe is a brand that I've been using for a really, really long time. I remember I did like a whole review on the Morphe brand. I purchased everything myself. I did like a whole Morphe video a long time ago when Morphe wasn't as big as it is now. And then now being here, like right now talking to you guys about this it just blows my freaking mind okay my thoughts are all over the place let me just let me just get started so morphe asked me to collaborate with them on an eyeshadow palette and they asked me to do this like a year and a half ago i, I know it's been way over a year and this was actually supposed to release like months and months and months ago but it was pushed for like a ton of different reasons but it was but it is finally here now and it's so crazy to me and before I get into swatches and talking about this, I do want to mention that this palette releases tomorrow. If you're watching this video on Monday when I post it, it launches tomorrow, October 25th, Tuesday, October 25th. I believe it will launch 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, I think. I might have to double check on that and put it down below. <laughs> so this is what the box looks like. I know Morphe is one of those brands that doesn't do like crazy things with packaging. They have very basic standard packaging. But I was able to play around with how I wanted the box to look. And of course, there's lights on the box because I'm corny like that. And it just says Kathleen Lights palette. There's a picture of me on the back and like a little, a little message to you guys. You know, it's a box. Okay. So this is what the actual palette looks like. You guys know that on their palettes it just usually says Morphe, but this one says Morphe X Kathleen Lights. And I think it's so cool. It's their normal red font, but it's like a metallic-y red. And I love the packaging on this palette. Not because it's like my palette or anything. I just love the packaging on this. This is their standard um, Morphe palettes. They come in like the plastic packaging and you know, they like open like this where it clicks shut. That is their standard packaging. This one is actually different. This one actually has a cardboard packaging. It's not their plastic packaging and it is a magnetic palette. So it like closes magnetically. I love that about this. I have been using this palette to travel with for months. Every time I go somewhere, I take this palette and it's just so travel friendly. I love that. I actually just busted this open about a week ago because my old palette i had been using it for months and it was like a sample palette it didn't even have the top on anyway so i am going to be inserting swatches but i'm also going to be swatching them on the back of my hand just so you can see the pigmentation so this palette is actually going to retail for 14.99 on the morphe website and i also have my 10 percent off coupon code with morphe it's just kathleen lights if you want to use it and save 10 percent on the palette when i heard how much the palette was going to be i was floored i was so excited i was like my subscription are gonna love this because it's such an affordable palette and it's so great it's just a palette that a ton of people can get whether you can afford it or not some people don't like splurging on makeup so I love the fact that this is affordable and I'm so happy I got to put together a palette that was accessible to so many people these are the colors that are in the palette now I got a lot of questions like, oh my gosh, there's so many warm shades. Why do you have so many warm shades? That palette looks like so similar to so many things on the market. And yes, of course, I guess you're totally right, but it wouldn't have been a Kathleen palette if I didn't throw in warm colors in this palette. Like, I never wear cool tone eyeshadows. Like, rarely do I wear them unless I'm doing a specific cool tone look. I love warm shades. So, of course, this little square right here is just full of warm shades. So, a lot of people were confused. In this palette, there's a mixture of um, eyeshadows that Morphe already owns in single shadows, kind of like the Jaclyn Hill Favorites palette. Jaclyn put together all of her favorite Morphe eyeshadows, all of her favorite like single Morphe eyeshadows, and put them all in one palette, and that was the Jaclyn Hill Favorites palette. This one has a lot of single shadows by Morphe as well, but some of these are also from Morphe palettes, not just single eyeshadows, which I'll get into, and six of these are customized. They let me design six specific shades that were exclusive to this palette, so. Okay, okay, let's get into the swatches. I know you guys are like, oh my God, shut up, just swatch it. Okay, so the first eyeshadow right here is actually called Cream Puff, I believe. It's one of their single eyeshadows, and it is probably my favorite inner corner highlight that Morphe makes. It reminds me so much of MAC Nylon. This is what I have on the inner corners of my eyes right now. Oh, by the way, yeah. Everything on my eyes right now is the, is this palette, so. This is this. I had so much coffee today that I feel like I'm really crazy and I feel like I'm gonna annoy myself while I edit this video, but I'm just so excited. 
excited. So yeah, that first one is cream puff. Let me swatch it on the back of my hand. So as you can see, it's a really pretty, light, shimmering, highlighting color. Like I said, this is what I have on the inner corners of my eyes. It's so brightening. I also have this mixed with another shade underneath my brow bone because by itself, underneath the brow bone, it's a little bit too shimmery, like it's a little bit too much. So I mixed it with the color that's next to it. I have my wipes here. I'm ready. This next color is just kind of like a basic highlighting shade, a matte highlighting shade. It's a creamy matte bone color. It's pretty much the exact color of my skin, so underneath the brow bone, I like to mix it with this one, which is what I did today. But if you're a little bit darker than me, to like very deep, this would be a stunning brow bone highlight because it's matte and really brightening on those of you with like medium to deep skin tones. But if you're like me, you can mix it with the first one or if you're very, very, very fair, this would be perfect to set your primer on your eye. Like if you prime your lids and you want that perfect like bone color to just set down the primer, this is perfect. I use that all the time, all the time for that. You're probably not gonna be able to see this swatch because it is like my same skin tone, but, well no, it's a little bit lighter, but you can see it right there. Did you even see me swatching that or did I swatch that off camera like what? So yeah. This next shade is actually my favorite Morphe crease color that they make. It's one of their single shadows and it's called Deep Skin. I knew immediately when they asked me to create a palette that I wanted this eyeshadow. I have this single eyeshadow in one of my Z palettes and I've actually used it in a few tutorials. It's what I have in my crease right now. I just packed it on in my crease and it gives such a beautiful warmth to any look you're doing. I love that light, orangey, warm crease shade, which is why I definitely needed it in this palette. I love it. In the pan, it looks like it has like little specks of gold glitter, but it does not translate on the eyes at all. It looks pretty intense there on the hand, like it might not work for you if you are very, very fair in the crease, but this color is so buildable. If you apply a really light hand in your crease, even if you are extremely fair, you'll get that perfect like beautiful orange transition shade. This next one is actually a custom shade. I wanted the perfect gold eyeshadow and I love this gold. It is amazing. It's so, so beautiful. Oh. I love it because it has that hint of oranginess. Just a little bit, it's like a little bit of gold, a little bit of orange, just a very warm golden shade, but it looks so beautiful on the entire lid. And then the last one on the top row is also a custom shade. It looks very similar to some of the eyeshadows in like the 35O palette, but it's also a little bit different. It's a cranberry with a little bit of purple, a little bit of red. I love it. It kind of has like more of a satin finish. It's not super metallic like this gold one. So if you're not into super intense metallic, gold eyeshadows. This is just a little bit of a step down. I mean, it's still shimmery and beautiful, but it's not like, whoa, shiny metallic, if that makes sense. I love the finish of this eyeshadow. Okay, so moving on to the second row. This color right here is actually a very cool tone brown. I knew I wanted a cool tone brown just to balance out the palette. And surprisingly, this brown looks beautiful no matter what look you do. A cool tone look, a warm tone look. I use this brown every single time I grab this palette. Even when I'm doing just everyday simple looks, I'll grab a little bit of this in my crease, a little bit of this in the outer corners, and I'm done. I'm good to go, I'm out the door. This is actually a Morphe single eyeshadow, and I believe the name of it is Trouble. I'm actually wearing this eyeshadow in my crease a little bit and in the outer corners as well. I didn't film a tutorial on this look, but definitely let me know if you want to see a tutorial on this look. So I have this on the outer corners and in my crease. I have mostly the black shade right at the outer corners, but I did layer it on top of this brown and I added some of that in the crease. This next color is so beautiful and every time I look at it, it reminds me of prom. Like this is the kind of eyeshadow I would wear to prom. But this is actually an eyeshadow that Morphe has in their 35T palette. One of my favorite Morphe eyeshadow palettes. I have a tutorial using that palette. Love it. This is such a pretty, like, purpley, taupey, silvery kind of eyeshadow. Depending on what eyeshadows you use with it, it can, like, go either way. If you use a lot of purple colors in your crease, this will lean very, very purple. But if you use a lot of, like, cool tones and silvers, it will kind of look a little bit silver. A little bit of pinky taupiness in there, too. Really, really love this color. 
This is perfect for just every day. Throw it all over your lid. This next one is also a custom color. It's just like a basic bronze shade. This is the color I have all over my eyes today. This is like the main shadow on the lid. I do have a black base underneath. I put like a chubby black eyeliner all over my lid. And then I went over it with this bronze shade because I feel like this bronze color layered on top of black looks so beautiful and smoky, so that's what I did today, but I wanted like my perfect bronze that wasn't too warm or anything, and this is the color I came up with. So, so pretty. I mean, it's definitely a warm bronze, but there's like a little bit of taupiness in there. I don't know. I don't know. Am I crazy? I really love this shade, as you guys know, because I'm going to say that. <laughs> For everything. This next one is another custom color. I wanted something that was similar to this but much lighter because I wanted two cranberry shades but one deeper for like the outer corners and then one that was perfect for the crease. So this is the one I customized. I love it. It is like a purple cranberry shade but if you are a little bit deeper than me, kind of like medium to deep skin tones, this would be a perfect transition shade and yeah. So pretty. You see, it's not too dark. Like, this is totally transitional, you know? And then the last one in this row is a really beautiful, deep cranberry shade. It is matte, just like this one, but it's a little bit darker. It's actually one of their single eyeshadows, and it's called Secretive. One of my favorite single eyeshadows from Morphe. I have one in my Z palette, and I use it all the time. Well, now I use this one all the time. Love it. I love this shade. Like I could bathe in this shade. Ugh, I love it on the outer corners of like any look. Okay, so now we got to the bottom row, which is probably the more fun row it has. It has more of the like out there, more bold kind of colors. This first one right here is another custom shade. I wanted a really deep, almost dirty green. Like when you look at it, like, oh yeah, that's a green, but almost like a muddy green. It's not like, whoa. Green eyeshadow. This one is like, well, green eyeshadow. This one is much more wearable, but still has that beautiful, like, emerald undertone. So stunning. So perfect for fall. Beautiful all over the lid, on the outer corners, on the lower lash line. It's just, I love it. This next one is the last custom color in this palette. It is a really intense, vibrant green. So many people were thrown off by this shade. They're like, why would you include that? Like, nobody would wear that. And I disagree. I think it's beautiful. I know I've said in the past that I don't love green eyeshadow, but I don't love green eyeshadow on me. I think green eyeshadow looks beautiful on everybody with brown eyes or people with blue eyes or whatever. I just feel like green eyeshadow looks so weird against my eye color. But I love green eyeshadow on everybody else. It's one of my favorite colors. I love it. And I wanted a super metallic Irish green. I know that's so strange, but I don't know. It's what my heart wanted. And I definitely got it in this shade. It's so metallic and beautiful. Look at this. Look at it. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. That is stunning. That is so, so beautiful. There's such a nice reflection to this eyeshadow. And actually, my favorite way to use this green eyeshadow is in conjunction with this one. These two layered with each other. Let me see. Let me swatch it for you. Like the dark green and then this green on top. Like, oh my gosh, I love it. It gives it kind of like a more deep emerald look. So I'm so happy I included this shade, even though it's a little bit out there. People were a little bit confused. It would also look beautiful on its own on the lower lash line, kind of like a pop of color. So as you guys know, the 35O palette is one of my favorite palettes of all time. I love the 35O because it's full of like warm colors and oranges. These two eyeshadows are actually in the 35O. I just couldn't help myself. I love the 35O. So I'm not, I don't know their names because they're like in palettes. This color is so similar to MAC Brown Script. If you're familiar with that eyeshadow, it's like a really beautiful matte, warm, reddish brown. This one is so, so similar and so smooth. Oh, this eyeshadow is so smooth. So much coffee. So this is what it looks like. I know, a very typical warm reddish brown, but those kind of eyeshadows are essential to me. And then this eyeshadow is another must-have for me, another favorite of mine. When Morphe asked me to collab on a palette, I knew that I wanted this eyeshadow in the palette. And it's so similar to like my favorite Bobbi Brown eyeshadow ever, which is called Camel. If you're familiar with that, I used to talk about that eyeshadow all the time. They're like almost the exact same. And Camel is like $20 for one eyeshadow. It's like baby vomit but in the best way. Look at that. Tell me that's not a stunning cork camel kind of matte brown. I love it so much. 
beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And then the last eyeshadow in this palette is just their standard black eyeshadow. It's called Coal, I believe. It's one of their single eyeshadows. I wanted a matte black in this palette because I feel like um, matte black eyeshadows are essential for every day. Or at least for me, whenever I travel with a palette, I'm like, gosh, I wish there was a matte black in here. I always like to add just a little bit of it to the outer corners, or if, especially if I'm doing a really smoky look, I feel like a black is necessary. For more nighttime looks, I really love adding a black. And I wanted to make this palette like perfect to travel with. So yeah, those were swatches of the palette. I know it's kind of like a simple palette, nothing too crazy about it, but I mean, it's me. I'm so simple and I feel like this palette is perfect. It describes me perfectly. I love it so much and I hope you guys do too. I've been reading your comments on Instagram and you guys seem really, really excited. So it makes me so excited to see how happy you guys are, especially because it's $14.99. I will be posting tutorials using this palette, obviously, just in case you guys do pick it up if you wanna follow along to like certain tutorials on my channel and we can like do our makeup together. You can grab it and then I'll grab it and then I'll do it on my camera and then we could like do it together. It's like we're doing our makeup together. A lot of people were saying that they were kind of um, bummed that there is no mirror, but I actually like that there's no mirror especially with cardboard packaging if it was plastic I would have liked a mirror but I break my mirrors so easily I really do but also uh, the value of the palette would have had to go up if there was a mirror and I really wanted to keep it affordable so that is why yes oh this is limited edition I completely forgot to say that in the beginning of this video this is limited edition once it sells out it sells out if it does even sell out I don't know I have no idea how this is gonna go. My Makeup Geek palette is also limited edition, by the way, my highlighting palette with Makeup Geek. I know that my lip collabs have kind of lingered and they were limited editions, but they've kind of stayed around, like my ColourPop one and my Ofra one, but this one is limited edition. Like, it really is. Yeah, aside from that, I do want to mention that this is probably my last collab for a while. Um, I'm working on some personal things, some personal projects that I cannot discuss right now that don't have anything to do with other brands. It's like personal things I'm doing. I know so many people were like, my gosh, Kathleen, you are a collab whore. You are collabing with everyone. And I'm sorry if that offends you, but I love collabing with people that I love. And I love the people at ColourPop. I love the people at Ofra. I love Marlena and I love Morphe. Just to help create a simple little palette. It was just so fun to help them come up with this palette. So it's so nice. Thank you Morphe. Like I really appreciate that. I love them so much. And thank you guys for making this possible because if it wasn't for you guys, nothing in my life would be possible. It's so crazy how I started off YouTube because I wanted a hobby and I was so bored in Mississippi because I didn't have any friends because I'm not from Mississippi so I just wanted something to do and I worked on the Navy base I actually worked at the next I was in the electronics section of the next I sold cameras and TVs and computers and I just wanted a hobby when I wasn't working and it turned into like an amazing community and I love my subscribers so much and I'm not gonna ramble because I feel like I cry in every video now and I know so many of you guys are like oh my god shit oh but I love you guys so much. Thank you for your constant support. If you go out and purchase this palette, tweet me. If you do any looks with this, tag me on Instagram. I won't be able to see it if you have a private Instagram, but if you're not on private, tag me in your look. And it's been so fun. It's been so fun working with amazing companies and getting a taste of the business side of things. And I'm so grateful. I'm so grateful. Here we go. What the heck? If there's one thing I've learned, especially within the last few weeks personal things happening outside of YouTube in my life is that we have to be so grateful for the things we have and I'm so grateful for my subscribers and for my opportunities because you guys have made me a better person and I say that all the time but you have so oh my god I need to stop I'm so okay stop I'm a disaster fun fact about me every time my teacher told me something in school like if I did something wrong I cried every time I would go home and tell my parents like oh my god my teacher made me cry in class and they'd be like What's new? <laughs> I'm a very emotional person. I always have been. Thank you guys so much. I love you. I hope you enjoy this palette. I hope you enjoyed these swatches. I, I love you. I love you so much. Thank you guys so much for watching. I think that's all I have to say. I will be posting tutorials in the near future. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in my next video. Bye. An exciting one. I've already spoken.